Hi, and thanks for joining with me again today for another Devotion Time. It's the 22nd of March, 2018, and today we're talking about a place of refuge. So we're reading today together Numbers 33 through to 35, and our key verse is found in Numbers 35, verse 6, which says, Six of the towns you give the Levites will be cities of refuge. And with this in mind, I also want to read Hebrews 6, verse 18, which says, So God has given both his promise and his oath. These two things are unchangeable because it's impossible for God to lie. Therefore, we who have fled to him for refuge can have great confidence as we hold on to the hope that lies before us. So just before Israel were going to enter Canaan, God told Moses to choose out 48 cities to give to the Levites. And six of those cities would then become cities of refuge. Three on the east side of Jordan, three on the west side of Jordan, each no further than half a day's journey from any location inside the land. So if people accidentally murdered somebody else, then they could save themselves from being killed by the king or the family of the victim by fleeing to that city. Then what would happen was they would dwell in that city of refuge until the trial came. Then they would stand and be judged, and if they were found that they unintentionally killed that person after the trial, they were deemed innocent, and that man could dwell in that city of refuge and remain there. But if he went outside the city of refuge, then he would always be at risk of being killed by an avenger. However, when the high priest died, he was free to leave that city and was free from his guilt. You see, in the law at that time, there was no other payment to cleanse the blood of a victim other than the blood of the murderer. We know an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, etc. But the death of the high priest then redeemed the man that dwelt in that city from the guilt and freed him from the debt that he had to pay by his own blood. And the writer of the Hebrews wrote that the people who have fled for refuge lay hold of hope, an anchor of hope. He's talking about Jesus here. The picture of a high priest dying instead of the unintentional murder is a perfect picture of Jesus, the great high priest who died in our place. When someone killed a person, they couldn't remain in the land. And when we mess up with God and let sin control our lives, we lose fellowship with him on a daily basis. We, in, we lose the enjoyment of walking with God that Adam and Eve enjoyed in the garden. But now, if we seek our refuge in Christ, and we can return to that place that God has designed for us, a place of fellowship, a place of daily fellowship with him. So let's reflect on some points. What does it mean to you to find refuge in Jesus? And how can you enjoy daily fellowship with God? Let's pray. Of our righteous, thank you so much. You gave us a place of refuge and of fellowship. Lord, we realize that our sin, our choices separate us, us from, from you, from enjoying fellowship with you. But Father, we thank you that Christ came as a great high priest, dying in our place, dying for our sins, so we can be redeemed, that we can be brought back into fellowship. So Father, we just thank you so much for this blessing. We thank you for all your love and grace to us. Help us to serve you today and to enjoy our walk with you today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.